And still on the subject of videos, the problem of piracy shows no sign of going away. It is now, as it has ever been, the cause of huge losses to the legitimate industry. And even in this country, Asian filmmakers are suffering as much as anyone with the influx of illegal copies of Indian films. Katie Derham has been investigating these Bollywood bootleggers. <laughs> Bollywood is the biggest film producer in the world, and as soon as films are released in India, people flock to see them. But what about the four million Asians in this country who want to keep up with Asian cinema? Well, they can easily see the films on video, which are readily available here. But there's just one problem. The quality. That's because around 95% of Asian videos in this country are pirate copies. It's estimated that 30 copies are made of each legitimate video. They're badly done and they're covered in adverts. Despite a healthy demand for Bollywood blockbusters at the 4,000 Asian shops in the UK, only about 1,000 authorised tapes are sold per film. The result is that video piracy is at an all-time high, and quality products are few and far between. But how do these tapes get onto the market? It's not very clear who's doing the pirating at the moment. A lot of it is local video shop owners. I think they're taking it upon themselves to do the pirating. Because there's such a demand for these films and you can't get it anywhere else, there's no actual organised body doing it, but an individual video shop owner sees the opportunity that he can, he can market this film quite well and he'll pirate it himself. There are a few distribution companies in, in, in this country that do distribute videos, but as I said before, they tend to play them at the cinema for as long as they can to, to actually make as much money as they can out of them. And at the end of the day, the public are sort of losing out because they're having to put up with sort of very, very poor quality pirate tapes. <laughs> An alliance of film producers, distributors and retailers has come together to form the Asian Audio Video Association in order to stamp out this problem of video piracy. We're going to just legitimise the Asian industry, try and bring in just originals, no pirates, try and make it more affordable for the Asian customer, for the Asian video shops, because there's loads of piracy out there um, without any kind of certification and it's just there's no choice for any Asian out there. Whenever they go into a video shop, they have to take what they're given. We'll be planning a series of raids in conjunction with the trading standards officers amongst most of the Asian outlets in the country. That's about 4,000 shops. Every shop will be supplying one of these ever accredited retailer cards so they can stick them up on their window so the public know that the only quality can be hired from this shop. I mean, these films here, I have an example here. This is not an original, it is a pirate copy, it's a photocopied label. Um, AVA will be providing logos for every movie to have on the cover of every original movie. Every tape will have a green flat with AVA logo embodied inside it so the pirates can't copy it. It's a major problem. I mean, we need public support on this as well, not just the shopkeepers. The public need to say, look, we won an original. They have to tell that to the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper can get in touch with us and say, well, we're ready to supply. If movie moguls succeed, the Asian video industry will have cleaned itself up through self-regulation. But until then, for the Asian film fan, the outlook is anything but clear. Anything but clear. And after that, a salutary warning. If you're tempted to buy a pirate copy of, I don't know, Titanic at a car boot sale, do remember that the money you hand over may well be laundered back into the drug trade. I mention that only to make you feel good about yourself if you've recently done just such a thing. Here now, though, is the movie news.